Здравствуйте, Тетов Риши, и welcome back to another episode of our glorious Workers and Resources Soviet Republic Let's Play. After a short one-day break there, with a slight delay in this episode, we are back looking to the future of our nation. Folks, there's a lot to accomplish. I will not bore you with a prolonged introduction. Just want to mention, as always, if you've been enjoying this series, if you would like to see it continue, please don't hesitate to keep letting me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. You all know the drill by now. You know how much of a difference it makes to how I approach content on the channel, so keep it coming. want to mention as well, since this is the first episode of the new month, again, something I try not to mention too often, but if you've been really, really, really enjoying this series, then I humbly request that you perhaps check out my Patreon. And if not my Patreon, maybe you want to become a channel member instead. Think of it like a Twitch subscription. Think of it like a Netflix subscription, if you will. Of course, the content on the channel will always be free, but it is a way to support the channel in other ways. Again, it is not an obligation, and I never want anyone to feel that it is, but it does really help support the channel. It helps keep these long-running series going especially. Links to both of those are in the description down below. If you want to become a channel member instead, you can always click the join button that should appear right below the video as well. But that's all I have to say on that front. Again, with a skipped episode, I always feel like we got to make up for it. So that's it for the introduction, folks. Let's get this party started, shall we? First order of business is actually in regards to, or rather with regards to, I should say, uh, this little warehouse over here that has been causing some traffic troubles. Uh, some of you have suggested that the problem is not as a result of... Uh, Sort of, uh, I mean, I, it, the, the problem, um, what's the turn of phrase? Uh, traffic is a uh, symptom, not the cause. I forget, there's a, there's a, maybe you know what I'm going for, but there's a turn of phrase, right? Traffic is just one of the uh, byproducts of the bigger problem. Uh, and once we solve the bigger problem, we'll hopefully solve the uh, traffic problem by virtue of there not being any traffic anymore. Uh, some of you are suggesting that it's actually because of how many clothes we have. I wonder about that. I wonder about that. The reason why I wonder about that is because you can see the warehouse fill amount is only at 89%, which means that we do still have plenty of room in the warehouse for things to be dropped off. Basically, the suggestion or the uh, or what some of you are, are uh, hypothesizing the problem is, is that um, the uh, forklifts are not moving as quickly as they can to pull things off of these trucks because there's not enough room on the warehouse or, or in the warehouse, sorry, to, uh, to, to bring those products off of the uh, the truck. I don't know if that's the case because there is so much empty room. However, with that said, as much as it is a waste of money to just dump products, uh, let's go ahead and dump at least some to kind of test out this theory. We're at 89% filled right now. If we discard a little bit, let's go ahead and bring it down to, let's say, let's say 75%, right? That should give us enough to uh, test with. Now again, worst case scenario, I guess, is we would dump all this and, and bring it right down to the... Uh, sort of actual limits and that'll fix everything. That'd be the worst case scenario. Best case scenario, uh, this 75% works out. It means that clothes shipments don't have to arrive for quite some time. Uh, and in the meanwhile, food shipments will also get, uh, well, we'll start moving a little bit faster. That's the best case scenario where we don't have to get rid of more products uselessly. Again, we can always set up a truck to take this off to an export point somewhere, but I feel like that's too much uh, work for, for what actually uh, needs doing over here. Too, too much it's too much make work, I guess, is, is uh, the way to put it. Uh, I would like to mention as well that uh, it'd be nice to eventually see um, perishables actually be perishable. You know, like a, like an Iron Man mode almost would have uh, food start to rot if it's just been sitting in a warehouse for far too long or clothes start to get, uh, you know, uh, chewed out by, I don't know, moths or something. I, I don't know, you know, but, but there's, there's room to, to sort of introduce durability and uh, longevity. Uh, especially for some of these products that would go bad. So I wonder if that's planned by the devs, and, and if it is, I think it'd be pretty interesting to have it as an option. Not for everybody, I don't think, but it would be a fun option. Um, with that said, and on the topic of things the developers are doing, before we hit play, I just want to touch on the last community update. It is a, uh, it's a very interesting one. Uh, there's a couple of things that they touched on. Uh, again, normally we'd go over this on Sunday, but given the, uh, given the episode delay, we're just going over it now. Uh, I think the most... I guess interesting thing they mentioned uh, in the previous blog post was with regards to weather. Uh, for the last however long, what is this now, 179 episodes, so how many hours is that? Uh, ever since this game first came out into early access, we've only ever had sort of clear skies, sunny weather, daytime and nighttime. Uh, now they are planning on introducing weather, uh, so we're going to... I 
camera decided to really kind of jump off to the side there. Uh, we're going to start seeing rain and uh, mist and fog. Uh, we're going to see kind of wind temp like wind speeds and stuff like that. We'll actually be able to keep a track of temperatures that uh, are a result of weather. Now, I know snow has been around for a while, but it seems we're going to be getting rain as well now. So that should be pretty interesting. I wonder if it will impact, you know, anything else. I wonder if it'll impact, for example, uh, car speeds, like will it change how quickly vehicles are willing to drive on the road if it's a little bit slipperier because of the rain? Is it going to have an impact on um, harvest seasons and things like that? I'm not sure, but I'm glad that they are implementing the visual aspects, which means because when they integrate the visual elements of, of things like this, things like rain, it means they are integrating uh, potentially, most likely, they're integrating certain triggers. And if they're integrating triggers, what can you do with those triggers? Um, I'd be curious to see. Uh, beyond that as well, they are introducing a bit of a time-lapse camera feature as well, where you can kind of preset a camera location. You can set a sort of timer and things like that, and it'll automatically kind of take time-lapse images, it sounds like. So that's pretty cool as well. Um, and overall, uh, there's a lot of really neat stuff coming with this latest update whenever it does release. We've been talking about it for the last handful of weeks now. There's some really cool stuff in this upcoming update. Uh, anyway, let's go ahead and hit play here. I do want to get right to work with the uh, nuclear... Uh, developments, of course, there's a lot to do over here, as I've been saying for the last little while, and I apologize that it's kind of been trundling along. It has gone a little bit slower than I would like as well, uh, but there just have been so many small problems that have been cropping up uh, from time to time. Oh, you know what I just realized? This is what I get for uh, taking an episode uh, aside, basically. It, uh, it It's funny how much of a memory gap it can cause. I completely forgot about this situation over here. I think that's the best way to put it. I think that's the best thing to call it is a situation. Let's go ahead and flip this train around. We're going to have some trouble over here unless we're able to quickly flip some of these trains around. I might have to do a bit of a cut. Let's go ahead and hit play. Again, in terms of population stats, we're pretty comfortable knowing that we are seeing some steady growth. The 21 pluses, unfortunately, are also seeing some steady growth. So hopefully we'll be able to uh, do something about that uh, as some of these uh, apartment complexes get done. But we'll, we'll, we'll cross that bridge when we get there. Let's keep you back over here, buddy. I'm gonna have to keep kind of like giving you this command to go back there. What I'm hoping is once that clears out, are we going to see you get freed up? No, right? Because why? Because you are trying to... What do, what do we got going on over here? I guess this guy's got to come through over here. I'm just trying to figure out if there's an easier way to solve this. Um, looking down this way, I wonder if I could... Nope, if I could... Nope, if I could... Take you down to here. Yeah, let's try this. Let's try this. I'm going to go ahead and flip this around. Looking for, I'm always looking for like easier ways to solve some of these issues um, for in the future, if and when they come up, I want to make sure that I'm able to, uh, to sort them more quickly than not. That should set you free. Yeah, keep going, keep going. And then we'll go ahead and put this back down over here. And what I'm hoping is that that should clear things up because Buddy will be able to keep going up this way. That'll free this guy up. I think that has done the trick. Cool. Seems like a more quick solution to come to over here. What I'll need to do is let's go ahead and cancel. Nope, I don't think I will need to cancel that. Because this train will get released as soon as this train kind of moves off past its uh, semaphores that were blocking it. And once that gets released, this train gets released. Beautiful. All right. The only reason, one of the reasons I didn't want to edit that out is because I did want to kind of show the thought process there. Because I always like to... You know, if there's a problem in my thought process, I, I would rather it be pointed out than me continue to not know for sure how to go about solving the problem. But it does look like we are okay. What's wrong with you over here? Let's flip you around. All right, let's go. Let's go quickly now. You are having some trouble over here. All right, looks like we are. Uh, how, how about we uh, cancel this and cancel you? That'll get stuck over here. That's fine. And as soon as you get past there, let's go ahead and put a chain down over here. And let's get ready to put this simple semaphore down over here as well. There we go. And that will hopefully... Let's see what it does over here for us. Because again, we bought ourselves a lot of time with the train going all the way down there, right? We bought ourselves a fair bit of time. And this should really help the uh, unemployment situation. It's already gone down from the high of, what, 7,000 that we had hit? It's kind of ridiculous how high the unemployment had actually gotten. And I was looking at the completely wrong direction with regards to what was actually causing the trouble. So I'm definitely glad I noticed this at the end of the last session. Looks like we should be all good here. And this will kick our uh, steel industry and everything back into gear as well. I'm glad I didn't just leave after having assumed I'd solved the problem, eh? This would have still been a problem. It looks like we're good right now. Let's go ahead and keep these semaphores on for a second here. You are 
You're going to get stuck there, that, as you're supposed to. Not stuck, but you're going to pause there, I should say, as you come through. And looks like we have cleared up our jam over here. I'm curious as to why that jam happened in the first place, to be perfectly honest. It doesn't make any sense for it to be working for... what well, it, it had been working for like a decade or something in-game. And all of a sudden, I guess the stars aligned and it decided to break. Nonetheless, problem solved. That's good. Down over here, it looks like we have a problem as well, though. Because these two guys are stuck over here. Now, why are you stuck over here? What is slowing these guys down? I didn't notice them last time. You are able to go through... Except for all the way at the end over here. So why don't you uh, move forward at least a little bit? Right? Like it should be... It should be going as far forward as it can. At the very least. Is this what's causing the block? Looks like it is. Hmm. What is the result of our new kind of developments over here? Oh, I see. We've got like a three-way blockage over here. Okay, this is not good. Flip you around. I had a feeling everything would kind of like, not necessarily fall apart per se, but things we'd start seeing some trouble. Uh, wasn't sure when it would come exactly, or what shape it would come in. But I knew there was trouble sort of headed our way eventually. Looks like that's cleared this up. So we'll have to spend some time, I think, Clearing this space up. I think once you go past there, you'll get the uh, green light here. Yes, you will. And once you get out of here, this uh, final train will get the green light as well. Some things to keep an eye on moving forward. Uh, and then some things to obviously solve eventually. Eventually, I will spend the time, the proper amount of time to uh, to sort all this out. But the, the key was that uh, four-way train traffic jam, which was stopping <laughs> all of our industries. All right, this is good. Trains are moving out. Beautiful, beautiful. Down over here, this is all working, which is kind of funny, considering I thought this was going to be the problem point. But hey. Uh, you know what? I don't think the uh, the warehouse thing... I mean, okay, we could try. The other option that was uh, suggested was, rather than have the distribution office or food go over here, have it go to the, uh, the warehouse instead directly. Because uh, it'd be faster, you don't need the forklifts. Uh, it's a little too late for that, unfortunately, I think. I don't think I can change that part way through. We could try it. Medium distribution office, rather than going up to this cargo station. Let's see. If I add... I don't know what'll happen. Add that. Unload food. And get rid of... Which one is this? How do I click on a truck? St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station. Get rid of that. These guys aren't going to, like, magically turn around on a dime, right? Yeah, this is a problem. This is a big one. I'm not sure if I can just... I can sell all these vehicles, but that seems wasteful. I'd like to try and actually solve this problem. These buses, again... Fortunately, I have built this road, so at least those buses will be able to get uh, onto this, uh... This bypass. Hmm... Yeah, swapping the, uh, swapping this around did not help. Where did, uh, oh, did it just turn this off? Because I, oh, no, these guys are headed to the warehouse, but they're caught so far back that, uh, they're from a different distribution office. They're just so far back that it's not going to make a difference. There's got to be a better way. Let's see. I wonder if I could... Again, I, I don't think I'm going to spend too much time on this. Uh, if I can do a quick kind of a fix, then that would be great. I wonder if I should make this a roundabout. My only concern is that I don't want this backup to impact this section. Um, how would I go about doing this? I would like probably do like this kind of a thing. I don't know how much of a difference that actually makes. But we'll, I guess we'll find out. And look, it's funny that cars start moving as soon as I do this. Like, this is such a messy intersection. Can you imagine dealing with this in real life? I'm hoping that we'd be able to clear this out soon. Let's turn auto build off before I make a horrible mistake. What are we up to over here? You know what I could probably do? All right, here's what I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. What are these trucks we have over here? One's moving up right now. These guys are all food, right? Uh, where is the distribution office that once had this assigned, but no longer does? Would it be you? Were you the one? 
Yes, yeah, so let's set this back to unload. Oh, you know what? They're actually just cycling through now, which is maybe not terrible. Yeah, go for it. You know what? Go for it. The, uh, the meat deliveries will still have to go through. Yeah, and that's fine, though it does slow things down again over here. Uh, actually, hang on a second. Are you still carrying meat? Oh, you know what? I guess it won't because I am stopping all unloading over here. Now it looks like these guys are still unloading. Okay, fair enough. A little confusing, I'm not going to lie, but that has cleared up our jam over here. Looks like the price of coal ore is going down. I don't know if that's a... Uh, I think there was a time, a long time ago, that coal was one of our major exports, but I think that time is long gone. Long gone. We have plenty of food over here, so we can actually, like, hold off on these deliveries for a while if we need to. I'm trying to figure out the best way to kind of tackle the situation. What I'm, what I'm waiting for is I'm waiting for these trucks to kind of cycle through. And then I think I'll restructure this area to make it a proper roundabout. So it's not this weird, like, I don't even know what to call this shape. It's horrendous, though. Uh, but I think I'll make a, a proper roundabout, and hopefully that will... Uh, smooth the flow of traffic. Now, many of you have actually pointed out many times that my right angle intersections uh, are a reason for traffic slowdown. And you know, I'm sure that makes perfect sense. A smooth turn is obviously a lot uh, quicker to, to navigate than a hard stop and a hard left or right turn or what have you. But uh, that's kind of how we build cities, right? For the most part. I mean, some cities are a lot more rounded for sure. But by and large, grid based cities, maybe this is just my. Uh, overexposure to North American city planning. But by and large, grid-based cities are a normal expectation. Even all this time I spent in... I've spent a lot of time outside of North America as well, but, you know, you, you see the right angles. It's a... It's a common, common affair. Am I horribly mistaken? I totally understand the logic of it in-game. I just would hope that we'd be able to do uh, hard right-angle intersections and, and not have to worry about something like uh, what we had over here. This is pretty good, though. Looks like things are moving-ish moving moving adjacent these buses have all arrived at the same time but we have line spacing open so you know that's uh, that's good why are you moving so very slowly that looks like we're good you can like absolutely see the uh oh there's a name for it and i forget it now but this like start stop the like the the waves of uh of traffic jams there's a name for it and you can absolutely see it in this game which i think is really kind of cool actually just another thing that if you if you simulate enough You'll start seeing real-world uh, dilemmas, I suppose. Will we ever? Will this area ever be fully cleared out? I don't think so. Is this clear enough? I guess is the question I should be asking. If I get rid of you, um, okay, okay. Let's see what we can do here. Could I pop a waypoint down over here and over here? Go ahead. The waypoint is just to kind of separate the uh, the sections. Do this kind of a thing. There's a lot of connections over here. Is the thing. This is no. Uh, this is a. It's a, it's a pretty busy area. So what would this roundabout actually be? I mean, I'm wondering. Could I just get like a couple of these guys out here? Where do you? These guys are obviously using this right now. Where's my waypoint? Can I? Maybe if I'm very lucky. Oh. Yeah. This will work. Oh. No surprise there. Okay. Wait a little bit longer. <laughs> you see that guy skid to a stop and turn around. Gotta wait for some of these vehicles to get out of here, I think. And that's fine. Looks like we're almost there. Looks like we're almost there. They just keep coming, don't they? Go, 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 buddy. Go, go, before this guy gets here. Nice. <laughs> All right. Um, what are we looking at here? Let this guy go a little bit further out. Look at that. A little bit of off-road action there. Not delete this, it says. Go ahead and put another waypoint down. Another waypoint down, I said. All right. That's, this is going to be messy. But I wonder if this will even do what I need it to. Um, so what I could do is make a roundabout over here. I wonder if I should back this up a little bit further. Come on, get out of there. Oh, come on now. 
Can I? Nope, can't. All right, fine. I gotta, I gotta work around this then. And then I want to quickly do this, and then we can get to the nuclear um, our work. Like I said, I, I do want to. I, I do feel kind of bad about how that's not been making as much progress as quickly as I would like it to. Um, but we've had these issues kind of becoming more serious issues. They used to be problems that were like, oh, whatever, we'll be fine. And now it's just like, okay, we're seeing some serious traffic jams. We're seeing some uh, trains not making their way through. We're seeing all kinds of issues. I just want to try and uh, solve these, you know, ho hopefully once and for all. We'll see if that's the case. Um, can I sneak past here? There we go. That's a... Uh, it's a... It's about a roundabout. Ish. wonder if we can't clean that up a little bit. I, I have no illu... Oh, hey, that's actually not atrocious. I was going to say I have no illusions about being able to make a perfect roundabout in this game. But, uh... Oh, don't do this to me, game. You... Come on, man. You know what I need here. Oh, god damn it. This guy's going to keep going in circles, so I can't get rid of... The road here, can I? No can do. Alright, so I guess we, uh... Move this along a little bit. Fair enough. Let's go ahead and start on this side. Why not? Let's do that. Go ahead and pull you... Like so. Like so. Get rid of that. Again, this is barely a circle. Pull this out a bit more. Come on now. That. Again, barely a circle. I just like push that back a little bit further. Again, like I was like I was saying just moments ago, I don't expect this to be perfect, but I would like it to be close. Oh, close-ish. <laughs> like, I, like, okay, I can get behind that. Please connect for the life. I just gotta give myself a lot more room. It's just because when I curved it, it uh, came a lot further out than I'd anticipated. Go ahead and do that. And that. You know what? That was a lot faster. Maybe I learned how to make uh, faster roundabouts, if nothing else, this session. Alright, alright. Please tell me you'll connect. Yeah, that works. And I guess that works. So what happens here? You come over this way. I wonder, do I want this to be one way? You, you, you typically want a roundabout to be one way, right? If I do that, I guess I would. it would be like, you come through, you go all the way around to end up up there, right? I think that's what I want. And if you come through from here, you'd like go this way, go up that way, and then pass through. Unless you want to pass through here. So maybe I don't need this second, uh, second road over here now. Where is the waypoint for it, actually? Over here? There's one over here. Maybe I don't need that. Get rid of this one. Forcing it up over here might be a good idea. They'd hopefully go this way, over, and then out over here, as opposed to the cars and the trucks that would probably go out over here, because we're going clockwise. We're going counterclockwise, sorry. I'm just trying to run this in my head and, and see all the problems. That are likely to happen. All right, uh, let's not forget these guys, right? I imagine we'll want them to be one thing. Curve there. Connect you here. This thing usually doesn't get a lot of traffic, except for when fuel is being dropped off, so that's fine. Same up over here, actually. These guys don't get a lot of traffic, so we don't have to worry about this too much. I think that works. Let's go ahead and auto build this upgrade. <laughs> And find out, I guess. Alright, cool. Let's hit play. I mean, it looks nice, if nothing else, at least. This section. The other thing we could do is, like, connect this over here as opposed to have it connected over here, but I don't know how that'll look or work. It okay, one way. Go around this way. Go around this way. There we go. I think those are signed is already one way in this direction. I wish the uh, arrows would show, but at least we can see them down over here. We can see that overall this is a one-way roundabout, and it should. Good work. Go ahead and 
turn this back on and turn this back off and see if that does the trick. Now, it would be nice, of course, to do something over here. We have a giant uh, roundabout. Why not? Uh, oh, of course, infrastructure. Man, the, the whole footprint thing is a bit of a... At least we can fit the uh, smaller statue. question is, which way does it face? Or do we put in one of these? Nope. Nothing's going to fit, eh? And I'm not about to redo this uh, circle. There, let's pop this down. Or do I want to... I think I prefer one of these. Pop you down like so. Go ahead and pay for that. Now let's go ahead and get some bushes around the area as well. Why not? Green this space up. This will be great. And let's get some trees too. Beautiful. Actually, on the topic of trees, before I forget, I probably should. Not over here. This <laughs> nation's become so massive. Yeah, we, we need some trees down over here. Where is my seed? Pine. Plant pine. Oh, okay, they've changed it from seed to plant. Makes sense. Put this out. This is fine. Looks like a jam, but it's not. Trains are just waiting for each other, so that's all good. There we go. Enough trees to hopefully sustain our industries for a while. These trains are moving. Yep. Better be safe than sorry. And up top over here. Go ahead and get some trees down as well. Cool, 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 cool. cool. That should be good enough. All right. Spent a lot more time on this than I would have uh, hoped or anticipated, but hey, you know what? It looks... Well, it's too early to tell right now if it's working or not, but... Seems alright. There's still some stoppages going on over here, but hopefully... We don't have a full, like, a filled out roundabout at any point in time. Buddy! What are you doing? You're not supposed to be going this way. <laughs> what is this nonsense? gonna go all the way around and then come over here is it efficient no but if it prevents traffic jams then yes i guess question is does it prevent traffic jams we're about to find out food is being topped up over here as well looks like right delivered directly so hopefully it'll reduce how much uh work these forklifts have to do i think a big part of the problem is that the uh the store the shopping center needs a constant supply and it doesn't have like so it's constantly pulling forklifts over to work on the uh on delivering food to the, the shopping center. Okay, back up over here. Finally. Uh, let's see, what do we got going on over here? So we've got our, yeah, we've got our mines, we've got our processing, we've got the processing going up to become uh, UF9, right? UF9, I believe, is uh, is what we're looking for here. Let me just double check. Um, UF6, why was I thinking 9? Oh, because it's, I think it's because it's 0.9, I had 9 stuck in my head. Uh, so we got two uranium conversion plants, fair enough. That gets pulled up to over here where fuel is fabricated right as well as waste and then that fuel gets trucked over to our twin reactor nuclear power plant where i need to pull in these pipes it's kind of funny it's like i was thinking about cooling 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 but these pipes in my head were always heating and so my head like i just didn't make the connection uh until literally like right after i finished recording uh the previous uh, episode i was like oh but of course that's all because i haven't been doing the um the seasons update, I have like just haven't been thinking about these types of pipes, right? Uh, but that was I was <laughs> kicking myself after uh, after having done last session. I was just like, oh man, of course I missed it. There we go. So that should up out over here. I'm pretty sure I only need the one to connect, but I guess two power plants can use one, or is it just like convenience of connections? I guess uh, over here, one of my concerns was getting the road up over here, but I guess I don't have to worry about that because we are able to uh, lift this up. Right? Make sure it's straight. There we go. Take it over. And then take it back down. Cool. And up over here. Rather down over here. Hmm. I rotate this. Okay, here's a little... Got the road connection over here is the thing. Alright, here's what we'll do. We'll go ahead and get uh, over back to the uh, pipes. I don't even have a shortcut for, for pipes because I, like, don't use them that often. It's kind of funny. I'm still kind of laughing at uh, at that, uh, that from last session. I right, pull you out this way. Again, I'm not too fussed about the piping going this like long way around. It's fine. Not like this is the longest pipe we've uh, 
have to put down. You know what? I was hoping for a nice circular look, but we're not going to get it. So let's not do that. Let's instead do the rounded corners that we've been doing. Pull you up this way. There we go. And a little bit further up, it seems, is necessary. Then pull you over this way. Beautiful. Pull you down. Oh, further out again. Come on. There we go. Pull you down. Make this as tight as can be. Lift this up as well. Because then what we'll do is, while raise, we'll round this bend. Hopefully we can round it nicely. Come on, game. You know what I'm trying to do here. Gotta select the right type. That's on me. There. And hopefully our road can go underneath this if necessary. It can't go right under where it, like I'd like it to perfectly, but it's fine. It's close enough. Uh, but on that note, got a road connection over here. Uh, that's primarily for this, right? So let's go ahead and cancel. Whoops. Back to our pipes. Cancel this. We don't need fires raging up over here. I don't want to find out how that plays out. Go up. Over. Road can come out and about. Yes, excellent. Gonna have to do a little bit of flattening over here. And uh, yeah, I, I definitely need to get some construction offices done over here. I will be doing that relatively soon. I, I want. I like to believe that we are past the uh, largest terraforming projects in the area. Uh, but really, even the smallest ones can be quite annoying when I have to keep like clicking things on and off. So we'll, we'll be doing that shortly. Um, and obviously, they're not going to be starting construction anytime too soon. I say that, but hopefully sooner rather than later. Not sure how much of a difference they'll make now versus, you know, in a little bit. But we need the road coming up over this way. Yeah, beautiful. We can actually make this connection over here. And I guess we have to flatten this, right, to, to make the roads all connect because I doubt I'll be able to. Yeah. I was kind of hoping that we'd have the uh, next update out by the time I had to do this episode uh, because they've got like curved tunnels and curved highways and stuff like that. I was really hoping to get to that before we start making some of the infrastructure connections over here, but I don't know. I, we, we don't know how long we're waiting for that, and it seems a little uh, it's not the kind of thing I want to like wait on, because you never know how long something will take, uh, especially with uh, like with these updates. There's no like reset date. We just know that it's coming, and I'm very grateful that we know what's coming. I think it's a great new approach. Um, but yes, it's it's not something I can, uh, I think, plan around. Not something we should plan around, because we don't know just how much it'll slow us down from time to time. There we go. That's not too bad. Go ahead and flatten that. There we go. Again, I'm not too fussed about the uh, financial implications of, of all this. We've, uh, we've, we've got money. We're okay. We're so far away from where we started this playthrough. It's <laughs> wild. And I... Nope, too steep of a descent. Eh? Okay, fair enough. What are you looking at here? Oh, I see. That's a fair assessment, I would say. And cancel this road a little bit. Rain height from center. There we go. That'll hopefully do the trick ish. Yep, yeah, I think we're good. Just do that. It'll work, it'll work. Cool. That's all the plans for the power plant itself. Um, now it's a matter of actually getting people over here. Now the city itself, so I think, yeah, uh, some of you have sort of furthered your thoughts on the canal I was talking about a couple sessions ago. Driving it through the mountains seems a little strange, so I think we will maybe drive it through the plains down over here, uh, and hopefully it doesn't get blocked. But uh, yeah, we'll be able to cut from like right over here, be able to cut all the way across, and that should save a lot of time for our ships that are exporting to the west. Uh, but of course, we can always use... Hey, speak the devil. We can, of course, also always use the um, uh, trains and stuff to shorten the distance and, you know, have a pickup point over there instead of all the way, you know, back up over here. Uh, really quickly, I just want to check to see if this roundabout is doing its job. Where are we? All right. Yeah. I mean, there's a bit of a slowdown, sure, but it's not as bad as it once was. Oh, God damn it! Am I still... All right, okay. Both of you. I know I was just like producing a bunch of fire trucks because I was like, eventually I'll catch them. Seems I've caught at least a couple. One is full. Is it really? With you coming over? I guess it will be. Alright, fair enough, fair enough. 
Uh, but I do believe we have more fire stations that are being made, right? Uh, you're not a fire station. Go ahead and... Buildings. Fire, fire, fire. Fire station, there we go. Put this one up over here. And you could use one more truck. Beautiful. How about our ambulance, or our hospitals, I guess? Hospital. Where are you, buddy? There's one up over here. One's still being built. It will need ambulances. I yep, we've got one over here. Still need some ambulances. So what we're going to go ahead and do is over here, we're going to swap production from these fire ladders. Cancel that. To the ambulance. Cool. Again, like I've said before, the novelty, yes, is worn off, but when we can, why not, right? Cool. Uh, this stuff is still being built. Some of these apartment complexes are getting completed. That's good to see. Are you able to reach everything you need to reach? Well, kind of. Go ahead and... Oh, dear. I didn't suddenly pay for a bunch of stuff. Need to remember to turn auto build off. Go ahead and pay for all this, though. Reason being, it will change our walking distances, right? Yes. Beautiful. That's what I needed. I wanted the uh, I wanted these guys to be able to reach the uh, the store over here as well. That is going to be a very important store. It will need a constant supply of everything. Like you can see, it's out of food right now. And we're actually low on clothes over here as well. Wow. Okay, that happened. That happened real fast. Just like that. Why? Actually, hang on. I I know I dumped a bunch of clothes, but oh, you know what? Right. <laughs> this is the problem with using uh, standard template constructs, as it were. I wonder if I shouldn't transplant that roundabout over here. It's a little bit different in terms of traffic, but it's tempting. All right, let's go ahead and commission these pipes just so they're all kind of settled. How the hell am I going to get people over here? So where am I going to get people from? The city, I, I think, should be down over here. If we take a look at uranium deposits, where are we? Uranium ore is also available all the way over here. Okay, you know, it's, that's that's quite far away. That's quite far away. So, yeah, we can have the city develop kind of out there and then down over here as well. We don't want people living too close to the power plant, of course. So, uh, how does that work out? Let's see. So, get the roads settled first. Let's go ahead and build this out this way. Oh, hang on a second. Let's go ahead and turn that uh, wireframe on. There we go. So pull this out straight this way. Um, bus stop. Train station. How many workers are we looking at over here? I really wish I could click and just kind of see how many workers are required to operate the space, not the construction office. Um, construction, energy related. So 100 workers times 2, let's say. So 200. 200 plus another 60 times 2, let's say. Right, because we got... Two of these processing plants, right? So times two. This is this has to be times two. Uh, so that's another 120. So 420. Up over here, we got two conversion plants. We just doubled up on everything. Another 160. So that's what, 420 plus 160 is 580. 580 plus one of these is 630, right? 630 plus one of these, 700 and. 10, 710. 710 workers to make this entire space actually operate. Let's see what that fire is. Uh, uprising grad? This one. Oh, gr oh, the grain storage over here. That's a, actually a scary thing to have catch fire. I imagine the fire trucks are responding. Yeah, yeah, we should be fine. Yeah, we're good. We're good. I can't have my food supply literally go uh, up in chains, uh, uh, up in chains, up in flames. <laughs> that would be problematic. Um, real quick glance over here. Okay. And we got food, we got clothes. This is not a, a problem point. This, though, this, this is, as people start to rely more and more on this distribution office. In fact, do we have a distribution office assigned here? I don't think we do. Let's sort that out right now. All the way back up over here. Go ahead and assign... Oh, we do have this road cargo station. Okay. What's the name of this? Uh, St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station 2. St. Elitesburg Road Cargo Station, I presume, 
Two? Yeah. Alright, we are dropping stuff off. It's just, I guess, not moving as uh, smoothly as I would have hoped. Or maybe it's just, you know, been some time. Are they headed to this building? Alright, we got food coming. Got some electronics coming. Hmm. Not nearly enough food. We've been talking about needing to do more farms in the near future. That near future might be the now future. Uh, but anyway, on the topic of the future. So if we have trains... My, my fear about making bridges across the river, by the way, is that... Uh, remember, the ships were having trouble getting underneath these bridges, so we just have to be very careful about that, because this is an important, uh, important area. If I have a bus stop, let's say... Go to the mods... Not a tiny bus stop. In fact, I need quite the opposite. Where are my bus stops? Come on, buddy. Every time. Every time. Gas station, hospital, hotel, residential, school. The hell? I'm just blind here right now. Platform station. There we go. Uh, so we want the uh, the large one. Could also do the extra large one. Right, because this service is a thousand passengers. We need right about a thousand. No, not that they're going to be picked up over here. They're going to be dropped off over here. But still, uh, for 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 our own kind of like immersion, if you will, it'd be a good idea to have a big bus stop over here. Now, if I put a bus stop down over here, they're not going to be able to get up over there for sure. I think what we might need to do is have like a train bus pair. I might just not want to have passengers get trained over to uh, to here, right? If we do like a small, uh, what am I looking for? What's what I'm looking for here? Like a small satellite of our nuclear city, I guess, if you will. Uh, people might be able to dedicated, like work here dedicated. Um, I think about the uh, the TV show Dark. Uh, it's on Netflix. I think about the small town that's just outside the nuclear power station, and I kind of like those vibes. Where it's like the suburbs of, uh, well, actually, it's a small town in in the show. But for me, it's like we could make it the suburbs of this nuclear city, uh, and then we could kind of fit a thousand, or we could fit, yeah, about a thousand workers, or fourteen hundred, I guess, double the seven hundred we need. It'd be kind of like Brixtonia. We haven't had something like Brixtonia in a while, so it would be nice to see. Uh, what are we looking at over here? Fifty-one workers. Um, these are all fifty-one. These guys are one hundred and sixty. Yeah, we could we could easily sustain, you know, seven of these buildings in a small little space and have people take the bus over. I don't want them living too close, but we could definitely do that. So, if that's the deal here, if that's the plan, let's go ahead and get a extra large bus stop somewhere over here in the hopes that they'll be able to go down here. Going over here might be problematic. Very widespread. All right. Only one way to find out, right, is by actually measuring these. So why don't we go ahead and, uh, yeah, over here it makes sense. Auto build to flatten. There we go. Slightly raised, it looks like, from the road over here, and that's fine. It actually look quite nice. We we'll flatten you. Go ahead and pop you down over here, right? Our road over here. You would do what? Hold this down, connect you over here, sure, leave it like that for now, um, I wonder if I want to do this kind of a thing where it's like, kind of like a smooth ramp, if you will, uh, let's see, that, kind of like how that looks, you, I don't know if I like how that looks, in fact, I'm pretty sure I don't like how that looks. Get rid of that. We could instead do that. I think that's better. And then up over here. I mean, I, again, I could do like a smooth uh, drop off, or I could do like a tighter kind of a kind of a thing. Bus comes up, drops people off, whatever. Loops around, goes. And what I'm actually thinking, you know what? Because I want what I'm thinking is the same bus goes up this hill to drop people off up over here as well. Let me check something here. How far can people walk? Not very, and obviously. Not surprised there. Let's go ahead and put down a footpath. Neck down. No, too steep of a descent. Neck down here. Now how far can people walk? They can get to the two mines, right? Yeah. No surprise that they can't get up to here. What if I move a little bit further? We're basically at the edge of uh, being able to get over here. 
Uh, I could try to steep of a descent, no surprise. I was like, I wonder if people can climb up this way, but that's basically going uphill. So, okay, this one is the mine stop, I suppose. Uh, then if the road continues, I wonder if we do a medium one. This one could actually be a medium one as well. I want it to be a drive through. Small, I don't want to do a small one. Extra small. Actually, 150 passengers might be enough, now that I think about it. I drop them off over here. Bus would come up, over, up that way. Those are 230 passengers. Oh, I like that shape. But it's it's also for um, probably buses. I don't think we're going for over here. The extra small or the extra large. Oh, there's a small one. Ah, oh, man. I wish it was mirrored. I wish I had a mirror button I could press right now. Alright, so I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and stick with the extra small. Because then what we can do is... Yep, pop you down over here. No reason not to. So that fits nicely. The road. And come down... Come down this way. Oops, that a little bit. Again, just keeping the bus off the main road, I suppose, because if eventually cars and stuff are being used over here, that'd be nice. I'd like to get some parking lots and stuff, why not? But uh, I want to make sure we have the uh, the sort of roads for that. Also, want to make sure there's roads for like fire trucks and things like that when uh, when they eventually slash inevitably need to get used in the area. Can we smooth this ramp down? Yes, we can. Beautiful. This is not so beautiful. I'm going to go ahead and cancel that. There we go. Nice. I like, I like when things work out. <laughs> so here's what we can do. We can go ahead and... We can go ahead and pull this all the way down. Right? Pull this all the way up. Pull you down here. So the bus will come, drop people off, keep moving, come up over here, drop people off, keep moving up. Now, can people reach everything from over here is the question. They can get to some of the stuff. Not nearly everything I need them to get to, actually. How do we sort that out? How do we sort that out? Let's see. If I get this up over here, can I cut through? I can. Find the gap there. Okay, good stuff. Go ahead and tighten this curve here. Nope, a little too close. Problem. There we go. Hook you up there. So now I imagine people are able to get down to here. Yeah, 127 meters. So all I would need to do is make this a crossing. I don't believe I can do it this way. There was a mod that I got though. Um, if I could just find it. <laughs> Um, forklift facility, pedestrian crossing. Yeah, I would need this. Okay. Oh, so we gotta get rid of this. God, I hope it didn't break everything here. Go ahead and get rid of this. We know it's possible. We can always kind of pull back to it. Pop you down like so. Yep. And go ahead over to our footpath. Hook you up. This way. Where is my crossing here? Don't know how this thing works exactly. Because there's no snap here. Uh, I can only assume that does the trick. And yes, people are able to reach both of these spots and both of these spots. Okay, wonderful. That's actually fantastic. Um, can they reach these mines from up over here? They they can reach this one. And reach... Oh, actually, no, hold on. They can't. They cannot. Okay, good. I mean, I could probably make this footpath and then they would be able to, but I, I think I'd rather not. So this one is for the mines. Uh, this one is for all of these. Ironically, these should probably be reversed, but you know what? Space. 
I guess makes a difference as well, to be fair. That's all good. Maybe we can fit some parking lots in here. Um, we can drive, stop over here. They'll have access to quite a few spots. That's maybe not a bad idea, actually. Go ahead and take a look at our uh, mod options. I'm liking... Okay, I feel I, I feel pretty good about the progress we're making today right now. This is like a lot of very important infrastructure stuff that I was really worried about going into... La or, or at the end of last episode. I was just like, wow, I do not know how we're going to make this work. But, um, but I'm feeling a lot better right now. <laughs> Parking lot better. Um, what are we looking at here? These guys. Talking about flip you around like this. Uh, naturally, we'd have to flatten to what? Up top or down low? Maybe up top is not a bad idea. Okay, let's uh, use this instead for starters, and then we'll switch to the, the flattening tool. Go ahead and hype from center. There we go. Much faster. At least so it feels. And that should be good enough. Again, kind of a central parking spot over here. It's not going to uh, facilitate access to these guys up top, but at least it'll allow people to work at these spots down below. So well, that's cool. Go ahead and you know, flatten away if need be. Hook you up over here, sure. Could actually do this as well. Kind of uh, goes against what I was saying earlier with regards to the uh, road that gets used or doesn't get used. The end of the world, not necessarily, but I gotta fuck a little bit more. Sorry. So, where else? These guys eat flattening. They do, but this won't work. So we gotta do this. Okay. Yeah, looks like we're good. So go ahead and pop you down over. Yeah, it's not... There we go. Not straight, is it? Pop you down here. Pop you down. Here. And pop you down. Here. Oh, come on, man. Like, lined up and everything. No, I don't know if it will be. Killing me, game. Killing me. It is not. Alright, here's what we're going to do, though. Real quick. I'm not going to spend a lot of time on this. Get rid of these. Get rid of the road. Get you back out here. I really wish I could get a straight top-down view, rather than this, like, slight angle that I have. Pop you down over here. Pop you down... Over here. Pop you down over here. Obviously, these guys don't line up. Last time. I also don't know why the bottom road wasn't connecting that time around. Alright, here we go. Pop you down over here. Pop you down over here. And pop you down over... I'll take it. Is it perfect? No, but I'll take it. What we could do is get the road. No, I guess not. I was wondering if we could get the road to be a little different. Oh, maybe we can. Steep of a descent. What the hell? I literally just had this connection. Say the least. Not my favorite, but you know what? It's the best we're going to be able to get, I think. You up. Get you over this way. You up over here, here, and here. Cool. Sure. Yeah, why not? We'll see if it breaks. <laughs> breaks traffic up over here just like we did elsewhere but these guys they should be able to reach well what we need actually is we need a footpath connection uh maybe from 
over here to here. Get yeah, pretty far, not all the way though. I guess, uh, I think once the roads and stuff are built, they'll be able to reach a bit more readily. Because what I'm hoping is they'll be able to walk from here and take that footpath, but that footpath is not even registering. But they should definitely be able to reach this building. I'd be surprised if they're not able to reach that building. So something's up. I'm not sure exactly what, but we'll, we'll experiment with it later. But at least they can reach these uh, processing plants up north, and they can actually even reach this facility up over here. So that worked out a little bit better than I'd expected. I'm not going to complain about that. Let's go ahead and get our last bus stop down, though. So let's go ahead and make this a... Um... Large drive through Nah, these guys are a little too, uh... They don't, they don't really work for me. We could do a small one. 230 passengers, right? We don't need that many workers in either of these facilities. We could do this kind of a thing. Um, small... Not BT. The bus station only. B, the BT is bus and trolley bus. And, and of course... It would have worked so nicely. And I could do this kind of a thing, I guess. Do this kind of a thing as well. Seems a little silly. The bus has to go around and in and then back out. Oh, you know what? Actually, what about one of these? Yeah. Nice modern vibes, right? I like that. I like that. All right, cool. Go for it. Where can I put you down, though, is the question. Anywhere is the claim, but I don't buy that. <laughs> I do this kind of a thing. Right? The road. Oh, nice. What do you know? I guess I can. Yeah, okay, you know what? I like that a lot. I like that a lot. It's got that nice round shape. It's got the, the modern vibes to it. Alright, cool. So buses will come up over here. Uh, then they leave. Go this way. Go up. Up and around. Go up. And I might actually force them to go around the loop before they make their way back. Just make this like a one-way and a one-way. Um, that'd be fun. And we'd get some parking lots up over here or up over here or something. Okay, okay, okay. We're on to something. Um... I wonder if, so if I'm a car and I'm coming through, hopefully I will not go up this way. Hopefully I'll go this way. And then... Maybe... These are all too steep. And uh, I I know it is. Like, this is no small uh, hill to climb. Uh, but I'm fine with them going around and up. I just hope they don't go up this way. That's all. That's all. I really wish the game, just like they do, like, painting one-ways, I, I really hope the game soon adds, like, painting bus lanes and, like, truck lanes and stuff like that. Just because, uh, that's something that you can do in, like, for example, City Skylines that I've always liked. Is just like, oh, man, it's so cool every time it flies by. Look at that. So dope. Um, it's just, like, I like being able to, like, organize things in that in that way. On the topic of which, this is great. This looks like we're not having any having any trouble right now, which is very promising. Food seems to be... Available, both of these spaces. Good stuff. Good stuff. Wow, look at the number of people that have already moved in here. Nice. Wild, though. I'm wondering if I upgrade all these roads just so we can get uh, some of that work done faster. Uh, okay, so bus is figured out. Road comes out this way. And then I get... I guess the question becomes, yeah, how do I want to do a little town? Like, do we do a little town over here, right at the foot of this hill? Is that still a little too close? How far does the pollution go out from this uh, nuclear power plant? People are taking the bus, so they can go... We can come in from quite far away. Uh, if I go ahead and put down... Whoops. Put down a bunch of trees. Down over here, right? Like, that'll help provide a bit of a buffer zone. Definitely want a buffer zone, right? Uh, so if we do that, and then let's go ahead and move this road on, like, make, like, a coastal kind of path over here. I feel like these would be quite nice houses to live in. Uh, and as many of you suggested, we'll probably do, like, a, uh, uh, quite a nice, um, we'll, we'll probably spread this city on both sides of the river. I think that'd be quite cool, actually. I'm really excited to try and execute that. In fact, if I'm going to do that, I should probably consider, um, the bridges. This would be the shortest bridge, and I do have to worry about the height of it, obviously. Um, looks like we could actually, hmm, get a concrete bridge, let's see. Let's see, if I go straight across, hang on a second, turn that wireframe back on, so, go straight across over here. Could 
go up to here is that right over here go go up to here roughly it looks straight you can go down to here instead question is though nah, there's no there's no way a ship will fit underneath that no way fantastic it's gonna be a this is gonna be a, a thing we should make it a fancier bridge actually I think like beam bridges are maybe the best call I like these like arches I think they were problematic in the past though I don't know if if, 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 you, if you know better feel free to point out my folly here go up this way right I'll we'll have to raise you up a little bit go three taps up and across over to here three taps down Bring us out to here I don't like about that is that how symmetrical does that look not actually not too bad it does not look terrible that does not look terrible it's a good uh, barometer all right make sure this is all the way to the bottom this kind of a thing just trying to aim for a bit more of a, of a symmetry can a ship go under that though is the question i don't know the game can be really weird about these things uh, we we can very easily lift these guys higher i thought i'd already lifted them a fair bit higher three three taps up i thought was much higher than that but i guess i guess not well you compare that to like these guys right oh man really shows you how big the nation actually is having to go so far uh like yeah this is this is a lot of height off the ground you know we can fit a hammer and sickle underneath that might be a good uh, way to measure it can we fit a hammer and sickle underneath this because if we can that would be pretty sick what are we looking at here? No. No, no, no. That ain't right. That That's not even... That's like halfway there. That's not even halfway there. Alright. Gotta rework these. I'm hoping that the uh, arch bridge does the trick, though. Oh, also would have liked to have seen a mark get left behind. Alright, so... One, two, three, four, five, six, perhaps? Apps? Alright, you go across over to here and then one two three four five six gotta stretch out a little bit up to there that looks better i don't know if it's right but it looks better over to my lovely Ooh, i don't know what do you guys think you guys think that's uh, that's that's good, or should I should I knock it up a bit more? I mean, we can, right? But for now, for now, you know what? It's fine as is. We've got placement. And that's that's what matters. So we'll we'll pull this over. Be able to hook this up. Great. And then down over here, we'd have yeah. This this I'm really actually excited for this. I think this could look quite sick. Uh, we could have people living up over here. Maybe in fact, you know, we have people living over here to service this plant, as opposed to living down over here. And then further down, we have like a massive city over here, like we've been talking about. Ooh, we have some nice like high natural high points and stuff for some good tourism oh i'm i'm so pumped for this i'm i'm genuinely so very thoroughly excited for uh for everything that's to come uh in this area uh again it seems while the footprint hasn't grown significantly today we have definitely built uh, uh some things that were really concerning for me we've got infrastructure kind of laid out and these plans are coming together quite nicely as well let me know what y'all think small like uh satellite town city thing over here and then obviously as we move down the larger uh larger city still on both sides of the river don't get me wrong we'll have some more bridges down the way uh or should we do the small town closer to the nuclear power plant which will be a perch to top the uh the like the hill over here oh man this is gonna be quite this is gonna be cool man this is great i'm really pumped this is gonna be so cool and off in the distance you can see the capital oh and look at that perfect timing the plane arrives what a sick spot. This is going to be so good. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. This is where we're going to call it. Next session will be another packed one with no distractions. Uh, trains are moving smoothly. Trains are moving smoothly. And traffic over here moving smoothly enough, maybe. We'll see. 
A bit of a backup, but we're still moving despite that. Ish. Well, hopefully, none or at least fewer distractions next time and more of a focus on the nuclear expansion. Folks, I hope you enjoyed this session. If you did, you know what to do. Let me know by leaving a like and a comment down below. As always, it makes a massive difference in how I approach content on the channel, what I do more or less of. Again, you all know the drill by now. Again, just as a reminder, if you've been really enjoying this series, maybe some of the other content on the channel as well, I humbly request that you check out my Patreon or perhaps becoming a channel member. Links to both of those are, again, in the description down below, or you can click the Join button that is right underneath the video as well. Not an obligation, but it really does help the channel a lot. It really helps keep these longer series sustainable. On that note, a massive thanks goes out to all of the channel members and patrons who've been supporting the channel on a monthly basis. Y'all keep us alive and running smoothly. And of course, a big old thanks goes out to each and every one of you for watching. Until next time, Das Vidanya.